Hi there guys and welcome to another Trains from 2018 video. Today is something a little bit different. Um, this is a quick look at one of my favourite parts of the XC route or the cross country route that is available on xcroute.com. This is the extended version I'm driving here but uh, this bit's also available on the standard freeware version of it. You all already know because we know we're going to be doing some uh, banking. So, good morning driver, you will need to descend the Licky Incline down to Bromsgrove where you will be banking a coal train up. When the signal clears, proceed down the hill. So we are banking. What is banking? Banking is pushing, a assisting another locomotive from the rear. Uh, the Licky Incline is one of, I think it is, it's the steepest sustained mainline railway incline in Great Britain. The climb is a gradient of 1 in 37. Um, or a continuous di for a continuous distance of 3.2 kilometres, so two miles. It's located on the cross-country route between Barnt Green and Bromsgrove stations in Worcestershire. Some trains still require the assistance of banking locomotives. Um, so a bank engine is United Kingdom Australian, uh, or helper engine or pusher engine in North America, is a locomotive that temporarily assists a train that requires additional power or traction to climb a gradient Helpers and bankers are more commonly found in mountain divisions called helper districts in the US. So we're pushing it from behind. There's going to be lots of innuendos in this. We are banking from behind, so you can see where this is going to go. I'm going to show there's going to be lots of comments about it. A um, few little caveats to this. The 66 that comes with this scenario originally is the old PUP one. Uh, so I swapped it out just for Railworks Tools for an AP one, which means I do have missing textures on the numbers. So it's not that I don't have any packs installed or anything, it's just that the scenario thinks it's going to be a different number, and the AP version won't put that number on because it thinks it's missing. Um, I will get that sorted. I wanted to get it sorted before a video, but I wanted to get this out because I have time to do it, and you guys need to see this. I was very excited about being able to do this, and we will do it. The other thing to add, this is from the extended version of the XC route. Word of caution, when you install the XC route, make sure you go put the actual root folder in the root. Don't trust the file structure the download comes in. Um, it needs looking at. I have, I'm going to fire them off an email and let them know. Uh, also, this scenario didn't work the first time when I did it on the stream. And a big shout out, massive shout out to uh, Lewis Klaus, uh, Klaus, who basically talk to me through how to edit myself so this is the first ever scenario that i have fully edited myself with assistance via via twitch so <laughs> it's far from perfect but it works it works so let's get going and you'll see how we get on i'll tell you a little bit about what i know about the licky incline and banking and things like that and uh the procedure might not be completely correct i'm no expert in it I always wanted to do it. Good morning, driver. You'll need to descend the Licky Incline down to Bromsgrove where you'll be banking a coal train up when the signal clears and proceed down the hill. That is what we shall do. Right, master key in. Let's have our headlights on. Reset our AWS. Let's have our instrument lights on because I love them in the 66, even though it doesn't particularly need them. Let's dump our brakes. Stick it forward and away we go. So just what I was saying about the missing textures. So don't worry yourselves about them. I know they're there. I know I know why it is. Don't worry. I think there was specifically a couple of 66s actually allocated to uh, Bank and G's on the Licky. Um, oh, there's five dedicated to Class 66 locomotives. So that's 66055 to uh, 059. There is a knack to this scenario. I have, I think it took three times to actually be able to play this properly uh, on the stream the other day. And that is due to this 66 not having masses of brake force because it's a light engine. It's going down the steepest sustained gradient in the country. So, yeah, you have to be on your brakes. They would be very hot by the bottom, put it that way. So you see, I'll let it sort of uh, speed itself up here. I don't even really need to apply any power. So 
So, uh, it used to be banked by steam locomotives. I think there was actually specific steam locomotives. The first locomotives were North, were American Norris 420s. Uh, 1919, this is the one I know of. There was the... the... Uh, specialised uh, uh, 0100, which was number 2290, known as the Licky Banker. And it was nicknamed Big Bertha, which I thought was very cool. Uh, but when Steam left, uh, banking was done by pairs of 37s, and other classes that appeared, strangely enough, were Hymax. The Hymax allocated to the Licky Banking Gs were modified so that the lowest transmission ratio was an operative. Despite the requirement for high tractive effort, the reason for the modification was that the typical speed of a train ascending the bank was approximately that at which the transmission would change between first and second gear. So it tended to sort of hunt between the two, so it'd go vroom, vroom, vroom. And the repeated gear changes under full power caused, ex caused well, excessive wear and damage. And the simplest way to avoid the problem was just to lock lock out first gear. So, a bit like you're probably doing your car really going up a hill on, on some ice. Uh, so the locomotive was only used second gear and upwards. Uh, it also says here that first gen uh, diesel multiple units were somewhat underpowered and climbed the bank often a little, over, a little above walking pace, especially as they aged. It was not unknown for them to need to be rescued by a banker. <laughs> <laughs> the more powerful modern DMUs negotiate the line with little speed reduction, although there remains a rule that at least half of the engines of a 220 or 221 must be in work in order to ascend. That's cool, I didn't know that. Alright, so this signal here is uh, red, and I've just taken the brake off, which was really not what I wanted to do. Because this thing don't like stopping. And I really don't want to mess it up. I would never usually do this uh, while doing a video, but uh, I came down too fast because I was too busy yakking. Yeah, I know, blaming you guys again. What's that one? Something's gone actually. I think I've got the road as well, which is quite nice. Bino's out. Yeah, we've got the road. So, I mean, this isn't the most exciting video for some of you, I completely understand, but for, for me, this was just doing climbing the Licky Incline with a Class 60 with a load of TA wagons uh, coming from the Merco oil terminal is just a picture and photographs I've seen in <sighs> railway magazines for years and years, 60s, just climbing them, brilliant. Always been something that's really fascinated me. And now to be able to redo that in Train Sim, yeah, I'm quite happy. This just happens to be the scenario that's here. Uh, I'm hoping that Chris or somebody nice will make me a scenario doing a, a, bit, a bit of a better job of banking than this one. So this is Bromsgrove. Uh, just a quick note, um, I don't have every asset for this route, even though I've paid the 5 99 for the bit, I still don't have all the assets required for it. The list is pretty extensive, and the route's available again on xcroute.com, that is xcroute.com. Uh, head on over there, there are two versions, there's the free version, there's also the extended version, which is a minimum payment of 5 99 for. I'll cover that again in a, in, a, in, a, in a video which I'm recording tomorrow so that will come up either before or after this video even maybe even about the same time 
I was just too eager to get this one out really probably should have covered the route properly first <laughs> Right, I know it's going to tell me to change ends, so let's get that sorted. So a couple up to the rear of the cog train and platform one. So you can see where the number and issue is. Which is a bit of a shame, but as I said, I was too eager to show you all. I'll try and find a place where I can take a screenshot of this thing with without that showing up. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. This takes a bit of an odd route in here as well, which is quite funny. I do find with the XC route some of the stock uh, usage on the scenarios is a little bit funny. Uh, it does use some more dated stock. I mean, I'm looking forward to going through and swapping out the 170s for the Super Alps 170s and uh, all the 66s with the newer 66s, the 60s with the, the BH Reskin 60 pack, which I've still got to put in, which I haven't as of yet. I should really be using my Loco brake. A little bit rough, but she's there. Okay, going to lean cab with the 60 and start heading up the incline. Now, I did this in the stream and I went into the cab of the 70, and I just thought, you know what? It wouldn't be like that, would it? If I was banking, I would probably have sort of uh, it would look like that, and I'd be pushing from the rear. So I am going to go for that view. Why doesn't that let me have... Oh. Ah, well, right. Also because there's scripting issues with the AP uh, 70 and the... No, it is going to need me to go into the curb, isn't it? Let me go into the curb of the 70 and then sort this out. It is a scripting issue. Let's 
theory now. There we go. I have some control. The best way for me to have control when you get a scripting issue like this is to use this, which I never really like. It's an awful haul on the 70, isn't it? So this is us banking up the licky. Really does ruin the illusion, doesn't it? With those missing texture markers, it's quite irritating. So I think it'd be quite cool to live somewhere like this. Just be able to step out your front door and that, and have one of the steepest railway lines in the country. The steepest railway line in the country. And you think everything that's going up there is going to be a full chat in it. Noisy old place to live, that. Spoil, I suppose spoils the illusion more is having to come into the cab of the 70. Because that's how it would really look. I can't even like uh, shift two out of this, can I? Because it does that. Oh, talking of 37s. Plays havoc with the scripting, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, I actually did that on the stream as well. I missed that AWS ramp. <laughs> It should probably, if we're doing the, the same speed as it was the other day, it brings us in just before the, the stopping point anyway. I think we're a lot slower than I did it on the stream. Oh, cool. That means we might actually 
get to start it with half of it still on the incline. Look at that, it's like a roller coaster. Wow. You see, this sort of thing could happen in real life. sand going down I think I don't know how they got the sound for the horn so wrong on this and the rest of it's actually alright just together when you would never use to drive with the F4 HUD up. Seems like it's doing a lot more than 18 mile now, doesn't it? I've, I've grown quite fond of fuglies as well. Saying I'm there. Let's put forward a little bit more. Now it is. So let's not. Let's get back to my 66. Okay, change back to class 66 in touch from the coal train, then into reverse back into Blackwell siding, Blackwell banking siding. Hey, I'm pleased to see the back of you. And you. 
and everything works. So we don't actually have far to go. Funny, but that's because I've switched cabs more than anything. So, yeah, there's a really bad banking video. Brilliant, though. I thoroughly enjoy doing it. Don't ask me why. One of those little things in trade system just puts a smile on my face. And I hope it's put a little smile on yours. So, once again guys, thanks very much for joining me. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe this video and head on over to xeroot.com for the route. Um, head on over to Facebook if you want to keep up with the latest going on on the channel and giveaways and things like that, which will be happening soon, I promise. Um, so yeah, once again guys, thanks ever so much, and I will catch you soon.